What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel for today's figure review. We finally got it in Ultimate Robocop. This is one that I couldn't wait to get my hands on and it's finally here. So what we're going to do is we're going to unbox it. We're going to take a look at the accessories, take a look at the articulation and uh, go from there. So let's go ahead, let's get this in the light box and let's see what we got. and here is the box so right now we got this really cool graphic on the front of robocop getting out of the car it says part man part machine all cop and then at the bottom it says ultimate robocop this picture right here is very reminiscent of the cover of the vhs the dvd and the movie poster for the movie when it originally came out so i really like how they did that throwback to pay homage to that which was really cool on the side right now we got that really cool graphic of robocop we've got the uh, the text of robocop going vertically we got the neca logo and the real toys logo at the bottom on the back we got some cool product shots of robocop we got the cool robocop text it says part man part machine all cop the future of law enforcement we got a um, picture of robocop up top we got a picture of robocop in the middle with the with the mask off and then we also got a picture at the bottom with the gun and the uh, the blast effect and it also says features spring loaded holster which we'll definitely get into that when we open up the figure on the side right here we got that unmasked portrait of robocop otherwise known as the actor peter weller which was really cool we also got the text the neca logo and the real toys logo as well on the top we got that cool product shot of robocop we've got the robocop text we got ages 17 plus we got the warning for the choking hazard well if this was 17 and plus and you're putting this stuff in your mouth yeah i, I guess you deserve to choke i guess i don't know what else to say and then we got the uh, neca logo in the corner all right guys on the bottom we've got all the people who were involved in the production of this figure we got the mgm logo the neca logo the real toys logo and the barcode and here is the barcode number just in case for you guys that haven't found this yet here's the information for you so you can search it on uh, brickseek or pop finder whichever one you prefer to use all right guys the time for talk is over with i'm just excited as you guys so let's go ahead let's take a quick look at the accessories and then we'll take a look at the figure all right guys and here's all the stuff that comes with the figure which is the accessories um we actually have instructions for robocop's spring-loaded uh leg holster so it shows you in the back of the leg there's a button it pops open you can store the gun in there and then actually close it which i think is a really cool effect which i can't wait till we actually get to have the figure in hand so we can do that so pretty cool that they put instructions in there about that we also have the blast effect from the gun uh me personally this being white i mean it's supposed to be smoke i guess um that you know shoots out the ports i i would have liked to seen more of an orange yellowish to this rather than than clear but i don't understand why they did that but you know it's still cool that they gave you like a blasting effect um we have robocop's hand with the needle that comes out so if you guys remember this spike was actually used uh twice in the original movie one was for when he went to the data center to plug it in so he can upload data search the system obviously find out who killed him trying to solve his own case and then also at the end of the movie when he killed uh clarence barnaker where uh where he stabbed him in the throat with this piece, which was uh, pretty cool that he did that. So awesome attachment there. We also have the unmasked portrait of Alex Murphy. And not going to lie, this thing looks freaking awesome. Love the touch of the little bullet hole right there. They did actually did a really good job at making this as close to look like Peter Weller as possible. So I like that. And of course, the paint on the back and all the mechanisms and the wires and everything and the hydraulics. So they did a did a fantastic job on this sculpt. One of the sculpt, one of the better ones I've seen yet to date. Then we also have the 50 cal. Um, this was actually in the movie quite a few times. Uh, obviously, when they all get out of jail, um, Clarence meets everybody on the street. He gives these to this team. Um, then they go ahead and hunt Robocop at that abandoned uh, factory facility. And then also you get to see uh, Lewis use this at the point in the movie where she uh, they're um, 
I guess they're in the like a like the water part of the the dump or wherever they are and she blows up the upper part where the guy was sitting where he dropped all the uh, metal and stuff on RoboCop and then also last but not least the most iconic scene this was used in was actually when he pulled up outside of OCP put this on the roof of the car and got revenge and blew the crap out of Ed 209 which was really cool. And then certainly last but not least we have the Beretta M93 which is RoboCop's main weapon which is the pistol which is really cool so i like this um they did a good job on it um i don't know i mean it, it i'm so used to hot toys weapons where you can actually where they actually work where you can pull the slide back or the the magazine comes out i mean i'm sure the, it would make the price point and jump on NECA figures if they did that but i think that would be a cool feature and of course we can't forget the most iconic scene when this gun was used and if you know what i'm talking about you're gonna laugh when you see this clip right now so yeah he basically used the gun to shoot some guy's dick off <laughs> so of course that that's funny that scene never gets old so yeah guys so these are all the accessories this is everything that comes with it so now let's go ahead and take a look at the figure all right guys and here is the look at the figure and first impressions the paint job is what really stands out to me the most. I like the silver. You've got the hues of purple and blues mixed in there. And I'll give you guys a closer look so you guys can see that. So you see that across uh, the chest plate, which is really great. Um, my helmet looks like there's a little bit of a paint flaw on there. There's like a bunch of dots and everything. And there's like a little bit of marking right there. But it's not too bad. Um, but again, overall, the paint job on this is fantastic. Again, I love the silvers, the hues of the blues and the purples and everything. Um, one thing I'm noticing right now that I'm not a big fan of is this gapping right here in between the legs. Um, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that. I, I don't know. It just looks kind of weird to me. Um, one, a f one feature I really do like is how they actually have the hydraulics work. If you guys could see, like it goes up. It'll pull down and stuff like that. So I like that a feature on there. That's really cool. And then again, here, guys, here is the spring-loaded um, leg holster for the gun. So you press this button right here, and there it goes. It opens up. You can see inside right there. The gun fits right in there, which we'll do that at some point. And then to close it, you just got to press it down, and it just snaps back into place like so. And then again, there's the button right there to open it. Um, as far as the articulation goes on this, it is very, very limited. Probably one of the more limited figures I've, I've had my hands on. So that's about as high as the arm goes because, you know, the shoulder hits it. And again, in the movie, RoboCop didn't really have much uh, movement. Um, the elbows do move a little bit. It's just like a quick, small, single joint. Um, there is um, rotation with the hand, but there's no um, pivoting or anything. There's no ball joint in there to, to pivot anything like that. There's absolutely no torso crunch. I mean, very, very limited. The torso does not even turn. Um, the leg goes yay. Actually, the leg does like a full 360, but there's no... And it bends in and out a little bit because it's on a ball joint, but that's about it. Um, the knee is single joint also like i said before you have the hydraulic on the back there there's no pivot or anything on the toes and obviously the head moves around pretty well but that is about it like i said i'm not a fan of the gapping of the legs i wish there was a little bit more articulation with the arms but other than that yeah, guys, so now that we've looked at the articulation and the accessories and the figure, well, you know what time it is. Time for a photo slideshow. And for size comparisons, here he is next to the NECA ED209. Um, in my opinion, ED209 should be 
a little bit more bigger than RoboCop. I would say it maybe at least a couple of inches bigger, obviously, because we know that he's a lot taller than RoboCop is in the movie. So, I mean, as far as proportion goes, it's not quite exactly there, but that's just my opinion. You guys comment in uh, the comment section down below and you guys let me know how you think about that. But other than that, um, I'm going to go ahead now. I'll give you guys my final thoughts and we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on the RoboCop figure. I think it's a great piece. Not happy about the gapping between the legs. Um, I do think the spring-loaded leg holster is really cool. Um, again, I would have maybe have liked to seen a different color choice for the blast effect, you know, where it's shooting out of the muzzle. But other than that, not a bad figure overall. I am a little upset, though, that my paint is a little damaged also. On the head that could you know that's just quality control there's nothing we could do about that you know especially when stuff like this is mass produced but overall pretty cool figure um i am gonna be getting the other version of this the one that's battle damaged and also comes with the chair so as soon as that one comes in we'll definitely be doing a comparison video on that so with that being said if you guys like what you saw please be sure to give a thumbs up if you're new please be sure to subscribe as always be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another figure review gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure as always you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at mce and until next time guys that's what's popping